good morning everyone so in the previous uh, video i gave you the introduction of uh, the chapter geographic grid so today we will start this chapter chapter 3 geographic grid is a network of parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude these are imaginary lines geographic grid is a system designed to map or identify the location of any place or area on the earth's surface so in the previous video already i have uh, told you uh, that the earth is spherical in shape so locating a place is very difficult that is why a set of imaginary lines has been drawn over the globe so that we can locate any given place so this set of uh, lines which are drawn uh, you may have seen that uh, some uh, horizontal lines are there and some uh, vertical lines are there uh, so the horizontal lines uh, are called latitudes and the vertical lines are called longitude so we will talk about it later now geographic grid a geographic grid is a network of reference lines on the globe in the previous video already i have told you about that reference line that uh, to locate a place or to find out the distance of a given uh, place from another one uh, we need a reference line okay so a geographic grid is a network of reference lines now the question arises that why we need geographic grid you have used graph paper to draw simple graph in order to draw a graph it is necessary to draw x axis and y axis on the graph paper uh, now this uh, now see this figure uh, we have drawn uh, x axis that is the horizontal line and the y axis the vertical line okay and uh, in maths already you have done that uh, coordinates are there all right and we use those coordinates to locate a specific point you take a suitable scale on x axis and on y axis and plot the points on the graph paper with the help of x and y coordinates of the points on the plain graph paper we use x axis and y axis as our reference lines to plot the position of any point similarly the system of geographic grid is designed to identify locate any point or area on the earth with accuracy this system is so perfect that the intercontinental missiles fired from one continent can travel a distance of many thousand kilometers and hit the accurate target now similarly what we do with x axis and y axis uh, in mathematics all right uh, we are uh, having uh, some coordinates okay and using the coordinate we actually find out the exact point very similar to it we are having latitudes and longitudes okay on the globe that is geographic grid the criss cross of the latitudes and longitude so the network which we are getting that is called geographic grid and it has been designed all right or uh, uh, to locate any point on the earth with accuracy now see how much accurate it is uh, you may be knowing about uh, the missiles you know that uh, we are having intercontinental missiles okay once it is fired it can uh, travel up to a distance of several thousand kilometers and it hit the target it is not falling anywhere it hits only the targeted region how is it possible it is possible because of that geographic grid okay so that is uh, so accurate and they use modern communication that is a global positioning system that is gps all of you are familiar with it geographical information system that is gis transportation trade etc are based on the accuracy of geographic grid so the gps system uh, how it works how we can locate a person or a place all right and nowadays uh, in most of the vehicles that gps system is there it is very easy for us to locate that vehicle where it is now in that gps or gis or in transportation even the 
uh, aviation industry the aeroplanes how it flies got how it reaches to the desired destination up to that airport all right it is not like that that it has uh, uh, it is flying and it is landing anywhere so it is possible because of that geographic grid the accuracy of that geographic grid earth surface is spherical therefore the straight lines of x axis and y axis on the plane paper become curved lines on the curved spherical surface on the earth or the globe the parallel of latitude are similar to the horizontal line x axis on the graph paper and the meridians of longitude are similar to the vertical lines y axis on the graph paper as i have told you that uh, how we use x axis and y axis okay uh, to use the coordinates and to locate a point uh, similarly uh, we use x axis and in geographic grid what is that x axis the latitudes and what is that y axis these are the longitudes and in a globe uh, you may have seen that the x axis and the y axis that is the latitudes and the longitudes uh, criss cross each other and it forms a grid and that grid helps us to locate a particular place now let us talk about evolution of geographic grid imagine that the task of designating uh, sorry designing the geographic grid is given to you and you are looking at the earth from a space shuttle you can identify only two points on the earth that is north pole and south pole this is because the earth rotates on its imaginary axis which passes through these two points now you can see this uh, you may you know that a uh, picture of uh, that earth all right and if we are looking uh, uh, around you know towards the earth from the space uh, so that kind of figure we will be uh, be viewing there from that space but there is no such lines drawn over the earth i am talking about uh, latitudes and longitudes uh, such lines are not there these are actually the imaginary lines okay so only two points are visible on the earth one is north pole and other one is south pole that you can see uh, in this given figure north pole and south pole uh, from where we have got that north pole and south pole as we know that the earth rotates on its axis got that is also imaginary line so two points we are getting we draw an imaginary line passing uh, through that uh, two points north pole and south pole got that now so uh, this is the axis now we have got two reference point one is called north pole another one is called south pole if you join the north and the south pole with the help of a straight line which will become curved line due to the curved uh, curvature of the earth it is termed as the meridian of longitude you can draw 360 lines of meridians of longitude at an interval of 1 degree on the earth now how many such lines that is the vertical lines can be drawn over the globe 360 as you know that since the earth is spherical in shape and it is rotating on its axis so how much angle it covers total of 360 degree got that is why we have taken 360 such lines vertical lines these are called meridian of longitude and it is having an interval of how much 1 degree so it is like that 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree up to 360 degree got but we are not taking it up to 360 degree or uh, actually we start it from zero all right zero degree and then it continues and it reaches up to 180 degree okay and then again it starts from zero and to the opposite side that is the other side again it starts from 1 degree 2 degree and it reaches up to 180 degree okay uh, so that we will learn later now we can think of drawing the parallels of latitude these lines are termed as parallels because all of them are parallel to the equator hence it is necessary to mark the equator before marking the other parallel of latitude the position of the equator is exactly at the midpoint of distance between the two poles now see this figure marking of the equator now we have got that north pole and south pole uh, we have drawn uh, vertical lines 
okay which is joining that north pole and south pole and we have we are calling it uh, the meridians of longitude okay and equator now we will draw the equator all right so how it is drawn it is equidistant from north pole and south pole all right where that equator has been drawn it is a line which is uh, just dividing that north pole and south pole north pole and south pole it doesn't mean that it is dividing the north pole and south pole it means that it is dividing the distance exact distance between the north pole and south pole so we call it equator okay so that is how equator is drawn and in this figure you can see that how the meridians of longitude have been drawn okay north pole to south pole okay so a set of such lines have been drawn all right now we have drawn that equator also here is that equator which is drawn now we will draw parallels of latitude that means uh, another set of lines we will draw which will be parallel to this equator after drawing all right the vertical lines as well as the parallels of latitude now this kind of figure we will get see this figure okay now you can see that the latitudes and longitudes are criss crossing each other all right and you can see a uh, uh, certain uh, uh, quadrilateral figure has been drawn okay some uh, uh, actually it is a uh, uh, square all right so you can see that square there and these squares are actually the grid okay after drawing the equator we draw curved lines of circles parallel to the equator they become parallels of latitude the equator is 0 degree latitude okay and uh, hence we can draw a total of 181 parallels of latitude 90 towards the north pole and 90 towards the south pole all right that means 90 towards you know the upper part of that uh, equator and 90 towards the lower part of the equator so 90 90 180 and then 10 degree so it become 181 so how many parallels of latitudes are there 181 and all of them are having an interval of 1 degree okay now we have got uh, a network of meridians of longitude and parallels of latitude on the earth which is also termed as graticule that is a geographic grid now let us talk about the concept of latitude latitude of a place refers to one particular point on the earth while the parallel of latitude refers to the line passing through the places having the same value of latitude so what is uh, latitude of a uh, latitude of a place it refers to one particular point on the earth where that place is located and what is that parallel of latitude it means the line which is passing through the places which are having the same value of latitude okay now you can see here 30 degree north okay that is parallel of latitude line and 30 degree south that is latitude point you can see a point has been shown there latitude point okay you can see a black dot and 30 degree north no such black dots are there it shows that uh, wherever that line is passing 30 degree north okay now see that 30 degree uh, north line wherever it is passing through all those places all those points are having a latitude of 30 degree north got in order to understand the concept of latitude it is necessary to understand the concept of the equatorial plane if we cut our earth along the equator into two halves we will be able to get the get two hemispheres that is northern and southern hemispheres now see this figure okay what we have done here uh, we have cut the earth exactly into two halves from the equator we have cut it into two halves okay so we are getting two hemispheres that is a uh, uh, two uh, you know that when we cut a sphere into two halves we call it hemisphere so we have got two hemispheres northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere so in a way we can say that equator divides the earth in exactly into two halves northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere now if we take the southern hemisphere the flat surface bounded by the equator is the equatorial plane so what is that equatorial plane when we take one of the hemisphere all right and the flat surface bounding that equator is called the equatorial plane now see this figure 
okay center of the earth you can see there equator you can see equator it is written there and the line okay that line the equator all right you can see the equator that is equatorial plane okay and that whole part is called southern hemisphere that is how we can take that northern hemisphere also now suppose if we want to mark 30 degree latitude we can measure angle of 30 degree from the center of the earth from the equatorial plane in vertical plane okay now we are taking 30 degree from here okay so the line which we will draw there all right that will be 30 degree north understood now if we draw the boundary of the northern hemisphere it will in intersect the angle of 30 degree and the that point of intersection is 30 degree north latitude now see we have drawn that other half also northern hemisphere now we have drawn that 30 degree and where it uh, touches the boundary of that earth that specific point is called 30 degree north understood to draw the parallel of uh, latitude of 30 degree north simply draw a line from the latitude of 30 degree north parallel to the equator okay so that is how we draw it so now we can uh, define that uh, latitude uh, like uh, that also that it is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator okay what is that uh, latitude it is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator in the next video we will talk about some other important information about the main latitudes okay so you read this chapter all right and if you are having any doubt uh, through the dashboard you can ask me that question thank you